Good day, this is Ronak from Sunrise Power. Today I will show you how to set up Wi Fi on SunGrow residential inverters. SunGrow has new range of residential inverters called SG5.0 RS. They're light and compact, and Wi Fi setup on these inverters is pretty straightforward and easy. But before we start that, we need to make sure a few things. Uh, first thing is that you have 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi enabled on your router. So typically your router frequency is 5 gigahertz, which is what your laptops and phones use. Uh, they are high speed and low range. Whereas the SunGrow inverter needs low speed. They don't need lots of data, but high range, which is 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, SunGrow only accepts that. Um, and uh, you need to make sure that it is enabled. Uh, you can talk to your internet supplier how to enable that. Um, they will be able to help you to set that up on your router. The second thing important is that your encryption or security is WPA or WPA2 set up on your router. Uh, sometimes there is WPA3 and upwards set up. Uh, the SunGrow inverter does not accept that. So two things, 2.4 gigahertz frequency and WPA or WPA2 uh, security is enabled on your router. Now the second most important thing is, uh, if you think that your router is too far away from the inverter, you need to buy Wi-Fi repeater. You can buy these Wi-Fi repeaters from your local electronic shops like JB Hi-Fi and plug them very close to your inverter so that they can stream the data quickly. Um, after that, you need to download the app called iSolar Cloud. You can find them on uh, your iOS uh, App Store or Google Play Store. And you can download this and then you need to register. So I will show you how to register that. Once you have downloaded the app, if you open the app for the first time, it will ask you to register. So select on register. Uh, on the next page, select on end user because you are an end user. On the next page afterwards, it will ask you to register your email. So type your full email address and hit on send verification code. That will send a verification code on your email which you have nominated. Open that email and uh, type that verification code on the verification code section there. Type your password and select country. You can now create a plan. Click plus on the top right corner and select create a plan. Give your plant a name. Whatever the name, your name, suburb. The next one is plant type. So it is residential PV. The next one is install PV power, kilowatt. So 6.6 .6 or 13.3, uh, country Australia. Make sure that you're in a local time zone, Brisbane GMT plus 10 or your capital city. Uh, make sure the address is correct, which is the next one. The app typically picks up local address, but it is not always correct. So make sure that it is correct address. Then the grid connection type is, it's not 100% feed in, which I have selected mistakenly. It is self consumption. Um, grid connection date is the date uh, the system was connected to the grid. Now you can select a picture for your plant uh, to make it fancy, which is not compulsory. You can now select feed in tariff, which is five cents. 0.05 in Brisbane. I have by mistake put 25, 0.25. Now you press next. That will bring to this option where you scan the QR code of the dongle which is underneath the inverter. Um, and then you establish the connection between the phone and the inverter. So your phone has now connected to inverter's local Wi-Fi. You can then select network and uh, select your local uh, 2.4 gigahertz network. Uh, SunGrow will only show the 2.4 gigahertz network options. 
type your password then it will ask you to press the button in front of the dongle press that button and uh, connect that will now establish the connection between the inverter and your local wi-fi press three dots on the top right corner and select plant uh, the third option then would be distributor installer organization code uh, type in AUS 9 YIFE that is Sunrise Power Installer Code. Once you confirm, complete that and confirm, we can then view your system on our portal and we can monitor your system and see its performance. Now you can go back and then go to Overview, Plant Overview. That will now show you the production of your solar system. This now concludes the Wi-Fi connection of your sun-grow inverter. Thank you.